Previously, on Rise of the Tomb Raider. Are you fucking kidding me? I want my pistol sight! And now we continue. Hey everybody, hey, welcome back to more Rise of the Tomb Raider 20th year celebration. In the last part, we escaped the whole fuckeriness with Jacob. And now Jacob basically disappeared. He went back to the village. And let's go meet him up. Which basically let's go to the old spooky mind to get to the village. So that's what we're gonna do now. So, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, everybody. Let's go. So basically, off cam, guys, I explored this entire area. I basically did a few side missions. They, they weren't really important. They were just like collect this, you know, take care of this cave. Basically, I did a bunch of side missions. I got a bunch of like um the basically a bunch of like survivor satchels and like hidden cave and all that. And I think I unlocked suppressor for this. Um, I unlocked a present for that, uh, and I think I unlocked something for a shotgun, which I don't have yet, which, fuck. But guys, I want to tell you guys a story. Uh, the other day, I think it was two days ago, I think, I'm not sure. My, my perception of time isn't really the best, but it was two days ago, I, um, I finally worked up the courage to tell my crush that I liked him. Uh, basically, my crush is my, was my best friend. Uh, he was my best friend for six years. I, yeah, uh, for approximately six years he was my best friend. Um, we, we basically, we met, surprisingly enough, we met online. <laughs> surprisingly enough, there was like this, um, chat group. When, when I was like younger, I, I used to go in a lot of chat groups a lot. And we initially met on a chat group. And we usually talk, just, just like, just like, um, talk. Like regularly on chat room, and it wasn't until I had my first like heartbreak where I turned to him for like comfort and all that, and that's when we first the first time we ever like FaceTime and all that, and that's where basically I turned to him, found out he could be he's a really really good friend. So basically we know each other for six years. We had our like we had like the whole best friend trip like. There are times where I hated his guts. There are times where he hated my guts. There are times where we didn't talk to each other for a long period of time. There are times where we're angry with each other. Like, stupid shit that we've done. But we still, like, came back to each other. Like, we still, like, we still became, like, we still had our friendship. And all that. I don't think Anna shares our faith. Or she's in this for something else. She's conflicted. I get that. I used to be the same way, but we've all got a part to play in this. Took another patrol to see if I could get another kill. Sure enough, cut a remnant at the perimeter. Took my time. Did it with my hands so I could see the light in her eyes go out. Stayed with her until she went cold. Magic. Constantine tells us that with the Source we'll live forever, that we'll finally look upon the face of God. But I already have. This is where I'm supposed to be. It took me so long to find it, but this is it. I'm home. Okay, psychopath dude! I'm gonna kill the fuck out of you if I see you. So, yeah, we basically like had our death end tropes, you know. You know, there are times where we were mad with each other, there are times where we've done stupid <sighs> shit. And like, it's it, basically a lot of like, death end tropes. We always came back to each other. And a while, like, like, I didn't realize I started having feelings until fucking Molotov cocktail yet I didn't realize um, I started to get feelings until three years ago but I'm a shy boy you forget I'm a very very shy person searching any word on the escape oh I want the Molotov cocktail likely dead Constantine saw me in the eyes but he's not convinced Oh, I want to cut the Molotov cocktail. Keep your eyes open. How do I? Yes, I hold R1. Oh, hold R1. Oh, there we go. And. Wait, I'll get you in the face. Burn the cinder! Oh, what the fuck? That was a fail! That was a fucking fail. How do they all definitely not want to kill my ass now? Okay, that's uh. There's another ball I can try that with. <laughs> that was a fucking fail. <laughs> Let me try that again. Ah, ball's all out. <laughs> what the fuck? 
Look at this dude just saw his friend get burned alive in front of him, and he just didn't give a fuck. <laughs> he was like, oh, okay. So, somebody here? <laughs> He's like, huh? My Steve, he's burned alive! Oh, nothing, that's normal. He casts the fire like twice every day, it's normal. That's normal. He's <laughs> like, oh, that's normal. Level barriers. Okay, so, it wasn't until three years ago, um, I started getting feelings for him. And I, I, I'll, make a, I'll make a video of like just me telling about this. Like, you know, I, I don't know if I should make a video of just me like telling the story. But I'm already doing it here, but I, 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 I don't know. I, I might. But basically, it wasn't until three years ago where I started catching feelings. Where I'm like, wow, you're actually an amazing, amazing person. <laughs> and like, I just start getting feelings for him. And. Um, basically he does like a lot of these, um, I'm not gonna like tell about his business, but he does something online, he does like things online where I don't really like, and I think it was, uh, two days ago, no, no, three, day, three days ago, because I, to I told him two days ago, it was three days ago, where he like said something and I got like jealous and all that shit. And he was like, he was like, damn, what's like, he was like, what's the matter? You know, you're acting like a just working all that shit. And I couldn't like have the heart to tell him, but it was like already like okay, and, like it was already too late to take, it was already too late to say anything or take anything back. Already, like I already knew. Oh fuck, I'm gonna have to tell him. Like oh fuck, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. So it was then before where basically. I basically wanted the courage, and I was so shy and scared to tell him. And so basically, when we FaceTime, uh, oh, I got a new bow, yes! But I only need a bow because I already have the best bow in the game right here. But basically, I finally worked up, and when we FaceTime, I was like, Must be a way to <laughs> I was like, I like you. And then immediately, the second I said I like you, I hung up. I was like, oh, I'm so scared. I'm like, I like you. Hung up. Especially then, he called me back moments later, and it was so funny, cause he called back, and he was like, oh yeah, I knew. <laughs> he was like, yeah, I knew. <laughs> I'm like, I like you, and then hung up. And then he called back, and he was like, oh yeah, I knew. I was like, wait, what? He was like, oh yeah, dude, I knew. <laughs> like, I knew for the longest time, I knew. I was like, how? I'm like, yeah, I knew. It was like, he said it was obvious. I said like, I'm like, how'd you know? I'm like, it was clearly obvious. I was like, really? I was, he was like, yeah, dude, it was, it was very obvious. And the fuck is down here? Lights still work? Um, am I supposed to go down here? Or? No, it doesn't. Well, mostly. Am I supposed to go down here? Or it's optional? Or it's not optional? Unknown area. Optional. Oh, there's an optional tomb. You know what? Ah, uh, shake. My god. He's an ancient. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do the optional. What tomb. did they find down let's here? Let's do the optional tomb, guys. I'm already here. I'm already here. Might as well just option tomb. So basically, he was like, Yeah, I knew. I'm like, Wow, isn't that obvious? And he was like, Yeah, that was really <laughs> obvious. <laughs> and of course, he had a response where it was like, First, I was like, I don't want to tell you. Because like, it was like a secret I had. And he was like, Just tell me a secret. I was like, I don't want to tell you because I was like too afraid that she might never talk to me ever again. Or it might be just, just so awkward that he just doesn't talk to me. And like, he's a really good friend to have. Like, I'm just so lucky to have my friend. And I just like don't really want to lose him as a friend. And I didn't really want to risk it. But he said the only reason he kind of like hinted like he knew before I even told him. He said the only reason I would never talk to you again is that you is that you force me to like you. Like you do things that will force me to like you. And even then I'll still talk to you because I don't like people forcing love into me. And I was like, okay. So then I asked him, the, after I told him I liked him, I asked him the obvious question. You know, do you like me back? <laughs> a question. Well, it wasn't a no. It wasn't a no. And it wasn't a yes. It was that. It was like, he said he doesn't like me exactly. Like, exactly, and that leads me to believe that she, like, he wants proof, because initially what I thought was that she likes somebody for their looks, and I'm, I personally believe I'm not good looking, 
I personally believe that I'm. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 oh, wait a minute. I personally believe that I'm ugly. Can I not grab the Molotov? Cause it looks like I can burn that. Cause it looks like there's something underneath that. And let's take the ball with me. Oh no, I can't take it with me. Fuck. Okay. So I initially believed that I'm not good looking, and that was my initial fear of telling him this, of telling him that I liked him, because I was afraid that, I was afraid that, oh, what the fuck, oh shit, 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 ah, fuck, ah, the fuck, shit, Laura, Laura, hold on, something, hold on, something, Laura, hold on, uh, fucking my cart, hell of an entrance, say that again, and that, that was my initial fear, was just me telling him that I like him, oh, and him, bags. Being like, you know, I don't like you because you're just not good life. Because you're not, you know, hot. You're not pretty. And that was like my initial fear because if he would have said that, like, you know, hey, I don't really like you because, you know, you're ugly and all that, I personally. Oh! Shit! I personally would, like, you know, not consider him, you know, a best friend anymore because that's kind of fucked up to say. Like, oh, I don't like it because you're This ugly. flask belonged to a soldier in the Red Army. Hmm. I don't recognize the insignia. Um, isn't the Carmen's insignia, though? Like, the hammer and the, and the um, sickle? Yeah, there's something here I can examine. <laughs> it's still half full. I may need this before I'm done. Oh, let's, let's keep that handy. Let's keep that handy a little bit. Let's keep that a little handy. That was my initial fear, was that... Oh, shit. Okay. So that's flammable. So how am I gonna... Hold up. Crap this. Fuck. How am I gonna... No! Fuck, I thought it was like a look. I thought it was like I could just like stand on there, throw it, take the damage, and just regenerate. Okay, this, this is gonna require some thought. This gonna require some thought. Aw, oh, fuck, why did I break that? I could have used that. Okay, that's gonna be there. Got to get it past the water somehow. Yeah, ow. Let's go over here. Is there anything over here that I can use? So, okay, so yeah, so uh, I keep I keep getting off track of the story, but so basically that was my biggest fear, and he didn't say that exactly. He said he said something like, "No, 50% of relationships are based on looks, and when those don't go well." And I think our our biggest fear is that we both had instances where we were in past relationships where it ended very badly. I mean, like for me, some of the relationship I had ended kind of you know badly and that's and that, that's like what we were afraid of was you know uh, of it ending badly and shit and we were friends for so long and we were just too afraid that you know it might make it weird something weird bad to happen that it just might be weird for us and to a point where we won't be friends anymore and that's what we're afraid of but basically my plan so far to, you know, it's basically to show him that, that, you know, that there's no reason, you know, that I'm basically, I'm not going to hurt him in that way ever again. And how the fuck? That should burn as well. Yes, it should, but the water, though, if I, no, I can't. So, I need to stop the water somehow. Got to get it past the water Yeah, somehow. but how, though? There's still, like, a, a water main or some shit. Is there? Is there like a water main shit? I can see, like maybe, maybe it's like it should be like a water main or something. What's what about up here? Is this up? Is it up here? It said that like Trithy's on, but no, um, no, uh, no. <laughs> um, fuck. There's another passage. Why is passage? Yeah, there's a passage here. Yeah. What's? I'm gonna have to just. I might just have to leave this thing alone. I might have to come back to it later. So I don't see a way to pass that water. I really don't see a way past the water. 
I really don't. I don't see a way past this water. I don't think there is a way past the water. I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna save her off cam. I'm, I'm gonna do this off cam. I don't think there's a way past the water. I, I, yeah, I don't think there's a way past this. Oh, I think I need. Let me check. I think I need something. I think I think I need to explode this thing. Okay, you know what? I think I need a new equipment. So it seems to me that I need the. Um, the explosion. I need like a grenade launcher or some shit to break that. Okay. So I can't even do this anyway. I can't even do this shit anyway if I want to. Fuck. So on with the main mission, guys. On with the fucking main mission. What? Wow. Oh, wow. I just took the timer on the part. Wow. I spent an entire part talking about, you know, my crush and me trying to figure out what to do in this optional too. So, leave in the comment section, you know, how, how was it telling your crush the first time that you liked them and shit? Like, what was it like for you? And are you with that person currently? Or, like, did it go badly? Or did, did it go good? Like, are you with that person? Is it, is it like, is it like all your hopes and dreams? Because my plan so far is to, you know, basically hang out with him. Bring him, you know, basically bring him to my house, hang out with him, and show him that, you know... That will never happen with you. Like I will never hurt you in that way ever again. Cause I'm, cause like I'm the kind of person that believes in a classical relationship. Like I will never cheat. Like if I'm like if I'm dating you, I will not cheat on you. I will not hurt you. Like I don't care if if I'm if I'm, if I'm dating you. I don't care if a woman comes to my if, a, if the hottest girl if a freaking Playboy model and Victoria's Secret model come to my house butt ass naked, basically. Throw yourself to me, basically, Danny, take me, Danny, I love you. I don't care if they're doing that. I'll be like, no, nope, I'm sorry. I'm seeing somebody, you Looks know, like I will not betray them like that. I'm Must sorry, you know, mine. I will not betray them like that. You have, you, you have to leave. I'm not, I'm not going to hurt them like that. That's basically me. I would not ever cheat. I don't believe in cheating. I don't like cheating. It's not my thing. I want, if I'm in a relationship, if I'm in a relationship with somebody, you are like a number one priority. You are like... I would not do anything to hurt you, cause I don't want anything. I don't want you hurting me. I don't want to be hurting you. So that's what I feel like. That that's my goal. Like I'll hurt you. You don't hurt me. That's why I feel like should be. That's 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 my that's my relationship motto. Like I like you. You. I hope you like me. You know. I would. I would never do anything to hurt you. And I hope that you won't do anything to hurt me. That is like my relationship motto. So when we come back, we're gonna be going to out. We're gonna be going, we're gonna be burning this shit. You know, we're gonna burn it now. We're gonna burn it, go to the mine, find Jacob, and go to the village. So, thank you all for watching. Hey, yeah! Yeah! Burn, let me burn! Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be seeing you guys in. Ow! Burning! Burning! I'll be seeing you guys in the next awesome, amazing part. Seven one, have a mother spectacular, wonderful, two greatery fill day. Fire out of ammo. Uh, funny story, right, guys? I don't know. A lot of funny stuff. It's just happened out there. Seems like my turn. No! Ow.